The next item that I picked up is definitely stepping outside of the box. Hi everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today is one of my favorite videos. I always look forward to these um, days when everyone puts out their $5 Goodwill challenge videos. But um, today's video is a challenge. For anyone who wants to do it, you basically set out to the thrift stores anywhere secondhand and you purchase $5 worth of decor to bring back into your home. So today is the Christmas edition. So I set out to Goodwill, tried to find $5 worth of decor. You guys are gonna laugh at what I picked up. And we'll see what I come up with. But this is a challenge that Hillary over at Old World Home puts together every year. So I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel as well as the playlist below so you can check out. There's so many people. I think every season the list just gets longer and longer. Like you can literally watch them all day and get so much inspiration. So I'll have all that information below in the description box, but let's jump in and I will show you what I actually picked up. So the first thing I picked up, it's kind of a funny story. So I actually just thrifted a poinsettia plant. It's a faux poinsettia plant for $2 that I just put up in my master bedroom and I loved it. And I was like, oh, do I put it downstairs or up in my bedroom? I wasn't sure what to do. Well, I went to Goodwill and I found another poinsettia plant. This one is a little bit different. It is really good though. It's really good. So it is, it was $1.75. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it was $1.75. It's kind of like an ivory cream-ish color. It would honestly match my TV stand pretty well, but I'm not going to put it there. But it's originally a threshold, so from Target. And so, yeah, I love Target, so this was like a no-brainer. So it's a really pretty poinsettia plant. Now, it's very dusty. It's a few years old, so it definitely needs to be cleaned up, but I will definitely do that for $1.75. So I'm gonna clean this up and stick it on my shelf. The next item that I picked up is definitely stepping outside of the box. Let me tell you, but I picked up this wooden house. It's handmade. I can just tell by the way it's put together. It is handmade, and it has the world's creepiest doll in it and it's like a classroom. It has the chalkboard, the chairs or the desks, a cute little clock actually and a really interesting mouse. It has red eyes <laughs> but I paid two dollars and fifty cents. It's funny because when I brought this home, I don't know if it's gonna focus, when I brought it home my daughter was like, why did you buy this mom? This is creepy and I'm thinking the same exact thing but what I'm thinking is I love decorating with the houses around my home and I think if I can pull out all of these interesting things maybe paint it and hang like maybe an ornament from it I think it might look really cute and will be a cute way to display an ornament so we're gonna give that a try the plan with these two items is I want to redecorate the shelves in my kitchen I have some built-in shelves that I'm just not happy with the Christmas decor that I have in there right now so I'm gonna um, add both of these pieces to to those shelves, redecorate them, and I'll show you the finished product. We actually had a lot of fun with the creepy doll this week in our house, so stay tuned to the end of the video to see what we do with her. But all of these pieces were hot glued down, so it was really easy, really, just to pull them all out. I peeled off the hot glue, sanded it down just a little bit to smooth it, because my plan was to paint it, so it didn't need to be perfect. Each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas I ended up doing two coats of the chalk paint on this house. I'm using the Rust-Oleum chalked and the linen white. I pretty much use this on any project that I do. Um, I use it on my cabinets in my kitchen and also the shelf that this is going to be sitting on. So it's definitely my favorite paint. I also thought about doing some like really fine glitter on the rooftop to make it look snow covered, but I didn't have any on hand, but that would also be a fun idea I think for this. Close. You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Let's till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire 
I ended up putting one of my daughter's LOL doll, like the hair wigs, on the creepy doll. I think it works. Doesn't she look fabulous on her shelf? <laughs> okay, that's just a joke. She won't be staying there. We had a lot of fun with her on Instagram this week. <laughs> but here is how the house turned out. I think it looks so good. I ended up hanging the ornament. I just took one off of our tree. That's from Hobby Lobby though originally with a push pin up top. So that was super easy to hang and just a fun way to display one of your favorite ornaments. So I think that turned out so well. I'm really happy with this project. The poinsettia that I thrifted fits perfectly on my shelf, so that worked out great. I am a big Fiesta wear collector, so just a fun way to display a lot of our Christmas dishes as well as some of the red and green. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this challenge. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new here. We are participating in Vlogmas this year, so I will be posting new videos every single day. Thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.